Tanzania has been experiencing a steady growth for the last 15 years, I can say. We have been doing very well in that part. And the main drivers of our economy, I can say uh, the main contributor to the GDP has been the service sector, mainly um, uh, the finance and the service uh, provision in the country. Uh, this accounted um, around 50% uh, of the GDP. Um, and then followed by the agriculture sector, which employs majority of the Tanzania, and uh, you know which accounts around 26% of GDP, and then the industrial sector, uh, which um, uh, by industry uh, we mean the mining sector together with the manufacturing sector, but then the employment is a bit lower in this sector around five to six percent of the population are actually employed uh, in this sector. Um, Tanzania at the moment uh, uh, we have just started to embark our five year, second five year development plan and um, uh, this is uh, seen as a, a tool to achieve our country development vision 2025 which is uh, advocating for Tanzania to be a semi-industrialized country with a middle income category by, by 2025. Uh, so the main focus of this is uh, actually um, economic development through industrialization and uh, the key priority areas for Tanzania at the moment is to develop our leather industry, you know, from leather to leather goods, uh, cotton to cotton product as you see Tanzania is also among uh, you know the countries in Africa that produce uh, highly cotton in Africa um, and then pharmaceutical industry is currently we are importing a lot of uh, pharmaceutical uh, products uh, from abroad so we want to develop our own uh, uh, pharmaceutical industry in Tanzania and then uh, promotion of um, uh, SCZ, uh, the special economic zones, focusing uh, in different aspects including agriculture and then lastly um, management uh, of urbanization in Tanzania whereas we, s we see that uh, the urbanization, the rate of urbanization in Tanzania is very very high um, and we are foreseeing by 2040 uh, probably half of the Tanzanians will be living in the urban setting. So there is a need to see how are we going to manage urbanization better and uh, also uh, as we are industrialized also for the urban setting to be used as a, a market for our products as well. Yes, when you look at the economic or development challenges in Tanzania, we can say that uh, poverty is still an issue in Tanzania. Much as we have done some progress in recent years, for example, the official statistics, you know, they show a downward trend. Even uh, the MPI, which was using the statistics of 2010 was 64% and now there is an indication of drop to 47%. So we are doing a tremendous progress uh, towards uh, you know reducing poverty in the country but still you know we still have a long way to go and much effort are still needed uh, to reduce further and to promote equality within different segments of the population including um, uh, women also participation in the development process, uh, improving working condition you know across different uh, uh, groups within the societies and so forth. And then another challenge I can say um, we see urbanization is an issue and uh, proper management of urbanization uh, should really start as um, you know Tanzania now has the one uh, is one of the country that has the highest uh, urbanization growth i think the statistics of uh, 2015 showed uh, we were among the six uh, fastest uh, urbanizing uh, country in the world um, so this urbanization can also be taken positive uh, so long as uh, you know uh, planning for that is being done very early in advance. Um, another thing is uh, 
there's also a need to improve further our um, social service provision. Uh, much has been done, for example, in the education um, to provide access to our children to attend school. Enrollment rates have increased, uh, but uh, more efforts are actually needed to ensure that quality of education is uh, improving and also we move uh, towards more enhancement of the vocational training so that we can accommodate the industrialization uh, process that we are advocating and uh, our education should be more towards skill-based education system and also um, as for the health sector as well uh, aspects of nutrition are key uh, as we can see especially for, for young children a uh, larger percentage of our children are still stunned and uh, so there is a need uh, for pregnant women and mothers and the society you know overall to be educated more on uh, best nutrition practices and provision of support towards that. As I've mentioned, Tanzania now, we are working towards our vision 2025. And uh, in this vision, we are seeing a better Tanzania, you know, moving towards a uh, semi-industrialized uh, country uh, with, uh, you know, improved uh, GDP per capita. We are thinking of having, achieving at least 3,000 per capita uh, GDP. Uh, by 2025, but also improvement in peace, stability, um, access to education and so forth. And uh, this is not done in isolation as now also Tanzania um, is also part in the implementation of the Agenda 2030 through the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, and uh, when in implementing uh, uh, the SDGs, poverty is the mother goal, is the first goal, and aspects of inequality, and Tanzania has put that also uh, at the heart of its agenda, as well as the implementation of Agenda 2063, uh, which uh, both agendas, uh, 20, Africa Agenda 2063 and the SDGs, uh, they talk about the improved partnership through, uh, you know, financing uh, development through our own uh, domestic resource mobilization. So Tanzania is also uh, through the process to, to, to improve uh, um, and spearheading our develop financing of uh, our development process through domestic resource mobilization.